Lichens. Either we get rid of them and the moss, or we'll never get it open. You know what you have to do, right? Clean it. Clean it, Brian. Remove the moss and lichens to see where it opens. You aren't the kind of man who refuses to pick up a cleaning rag, are you? No, but I thought there might be some other way to open it. Whatever, but I think you'll end up having to clean it. All right, Sushi. I'm gonna see what I can come up with. Toted one around on Mala Island and it weighed a ton. Maybe there's something inside I can use though. Man! I bet the saw will come in handy. That idea is not good. Of course. Who but I could dream up such a cool plan? It's obvious I'm a genie. Here we have it. An actual hog bristle brush. Pocket size and at wholesale price. Maybe I typed it in wrong. I've got the feeling there's something fishy happening here. The bad thing is that thinking of fish is making me hungry. Hey, let's see who answers. Hello? Anyone there? Brian? Is that you? What do you want? Oh, nothing. I'm just trapped inside the cargo hold. And so tell me what two fits have when I stick into this contraption on the... Joshua, stop it! Man! Brian, don't worry. Joshua just ruined the encryption system on the whole yacht and messed up the passwords on all the doors. But I'll have it fixed in a couple hours. And if... Go to your cabin, Joshua. Hey, um, we'll chat later, Sushi. Shoot, I wouldn't want to be in Sushi's skin right now. Or in Joshua's, because when Sushi gets angry, she must be. Well, anyway, obviously I can't just wait for her to get me out of here. Hatches to deck. That's it! That's it. Now that I opened the hatches, I'm sure I can start from the edge of the tank. Scamper up to the ceiling somehow and reach the deck. Come on, let's get out of here. It appears I also opened the hatch to cargo hold too. Holy smokes! 
Well, that wasn't easy, but at least I made it here. Brian, this is a disaster. What's the matter, Sushi? Look, you really need to have a talk with Joshua. He's like a poltergeist. Now he's deactivated all of my passwords in addition to leaving the hatches on the deck wide open. Oh man, what are we gonna do with old Joshua? I already figured out the password thing, but I'm telling you my experience is that it is quite unpleasant to enter the cargo hold and find a flock of seabirds looking at you as if you were some huge and yummy fish. Lucky thing, the computer warned me and I was able to close them from here. Otherwise... Don't you worry. As soon as I see him, I'll kick his butt so hard he'll never open another hatch again. For goodness sake. Listen, Sushi. Yes, Brian? How am I supposed to clean the orb on the figurehead? Well, they say the best way to fight tough stains is with pressurized water. Under the water? Very funny, Sushi. Okay, okay. The cleaning rag didn't convince you, did it? Exactly, why didn't Dean try to go down and get the Trantonite? Oh, but didn't I explain? Turns out he isn't actually a treasure hunter. What? He's not a treasure hunter? He's just a straw man. A salary-paid actor who's hosted the show while pretending to be a big adventurer. But it turns out the action shots were filmed by stunt doubles. But the deal was that he'd go down and get the Trantonite, wasn't it? That's what I told him, but not what he understood. When I hired him, he must have thought I was in contact with the production company. And that, at the moment of truth, the stunt doubles he usually uses for the risky scenes would show up to do the dirty work. I told you I didn't like that, Dean. I told you so. I told you so, I told you so, I told you so. Okay, you're right and I was wrong. But don't be so childish as to rub it in my face. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I, I didn't mean to. I told you so. Okay, let's drop the topic of Dean. How's Camille doing? I just went to see her in her cabin and the poor girl is a mess. She's writing things in her diary. Bear in mind that Dean was her biggest idol, and in a matter of days, his image has been completely shattered. She'll get over it fast, though. She's young and strong, and I have a feeling she may surprise us. Well, I wanted to thank you. If it weren't for you, I probably would have given up. Come on, Brian. Don't get discouraged. You'll see how soon we're celebrating the end of all this with Gina. By the way, did you know I have tickets to Lula, Marta, and Mariola's new show? Really? What are they up to? No idea, because I bought them on the net. The truth is, I haven't heard anything from them since you and Gina invited us to that weekend in the Cayman Islands. Well, we had to thank you for everything you've done for us. I hope we can do it again soon. Do the Divas have a new show? Yes, but don't ask me what it's about. The website just said something like, the latest musical extravaganza of the Queens of Kitsch. Well, getting back to our topic, I'm going down to the galleon again. That's all right, Brian. Just start prepping and tell me when you're ready. Is it that hard, Brian? You're not gonna tell me the dirt is really stuck to the surface, are you? No luck? No? No! Oh. 
Well, this really sucks, Brian. Someone may have robbed the Trantonite, which would explain why the Interceptor ended up sinking the Orion. Or Malantunia suspected something and put it in a different place. The truth is, I have no idea. Well, let's stay positive and assume it's still on the boat. Where could Malatunias have hidden it? Well, if I were him, I would like to keep it as close as possible. In my stateroom, for instance. Yeah, that's the most logical. Come on, let's prepare for another dive. I'll go down ASAP. Are you sure you don't want to rest a while first? You look exhausted, Brian. Maybe you should get back your strength a bit first before... I'll have time to rest later. We've got work to do. Try to go in through the middle hole, Brian. Let's see. Go down into it as far as you can. Now, move toward the bow. At the end of the hall, you'll find some stairs. Go past them. Now stand facing aft. Do you see a trap door? Go up through it. Roger. You'll reach a passageway with several doors. The one closest to the bow has to be Malintunia's cabin. Well, of course it sucks, but when the going gets tough, the tough get going. I'll take a stroll around the boat, and I bet I'll come up with an idea to get that door open. Okay, I'll just keep thinking up ideas. And if you see Joshua, tell him enough is enough. What did he do now? What did he do? While you were diving, he made a major mess out of the cargo hold. He found a crowbar and started opening boxes of things, spewing stuff all over the floor, replacement parts... Nails? Packaging materials? What nerve! Don't you worry, that guy's gonna get what he deserves. I was afraid of this. Now it turns out somebody has removed the brush holding the door open. Nada. It would have been too easy for someone to come along and repair the door. On the positive side, the crowbar I need to get into Malatunia's cabin is there. On the negative side, I can't go in and get it, because when I release the button, the door will slam shut. And I don't want to sever off an arm trying to leap in. Let's see how I can think my way out of this one.
I haven't the foggiest idea what they're for. I'll inquire. What are you working on, Saturn? Haven't I told you about the electromagnets? They're one of my latest creations, equipped with a device that magnetizes or demagnetizes things at will. When this is finished, I plan to attach them to the mini-sub and take up underwater skiing. Oh, that exists? The question is not whether it exists, BB, but whether we want it to exist. Art and science are based on that grand principle. Saturn, I'm gonna borrow your electromagnets for a while, okay? Of course, BB. Don't forget to tell me how they work. Nifty. My first pair of electromagnets. What did you say the electromagnets were for? They're one of my latest creations, equipped with a device that magnetizes or demagnetizes things at will. When this is finished, I plan to attach them to the mini-sub and take up underwater skiing. Done. Hey, that's not bad. Once I'm up there, I slide down the wall of cargo hold two, snatch the crowbar, and run out. I don't know whether I can trust Saturn's little inventions, but what choice is there? Down we go. Yes, and now... It's mine. No door will be any match for me with this crowbar. The Trantonite awaits me. Yeah. 